What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the podcast. This is Insanely Chill, and uh, this is the weekend edition. And uh, with me today, unfortunately, my uh, booking agent was only able to get me my friend Noel. <laughs> yep. Cody was nice enough to let me come out of his shadow you don't so I could to, be here. You don't have to talk to the camera. You can talk to me. <laughs> no. This is this is who I'm interested in. <laughs> so clearly a YouTuber. Yeah. Actor. Yeah. Whatever. No, you know. are a comedian, first and foremost. Yes. Actor, writer. Producer. Producer. Web developer. All of the above. I do it all. You do it all. I can even dance a little. And you can dance. Just a little bit though. Yeah. This is like whack though. Didn't you used to like actually dance? Yeah, but I mean when you're I don't know. I feel like most kids in LA try to dance. That's true. Like they want like everyone saw step up and they're like, that shit's so whack. And they went on Google and they were like, all right, how to glide. <laughs> and then they looked that shit up. I don't even know what the fuck a glide is. Well, see, I guess I'm the only one who, after watching Step Up and you got served. <laughs> I think this is just your Probably. story. This yeah. is just, it's just the story me. of you. Just me. You're like, I think everyone in LA has done this. <laughs> nope. I know plenty of people in LA that have never tried to dance. <laughs> I think this is just you. Well, because I wanted to break dance, but I was always too fucking small. Okay. <laughs> like up until I was like 15, I was like 5'1". Okay. I was like a midget. Yeah. And I could never like, I was too. And then I just never. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I don't know. I just like had shitty metabolism. So I could never build strength to like be a break dancer. Like yeah. very clearly I've never built strength. So yeah, yeah no, that's pretty, yeah, pretty, pretty obvious. Clear. Yeah. Well. Hit the gym. <clears throat> um, no. So we, you do stand up yep. with me. Yep. I mean, I'm sure you guys fucking know Noel. Yeah. He's in all like tons of my videos. Yep. He uh, it was in Goat Rodeo, mm. which we did together. Bang. Rest in peace. R.I.P. Send one up. Fucking set. Oh, also, first things first. It is the weekend. So. It is. So I drink coffee. Oh, only necessary to crack a cold one with the bo- open oh, with the boys. Well, I uh, fucked that up big time. I didn't know you voted for Trump, dude. I said, <laughs> I said, I'm drinking, what are you talking about? I'm drinking Modelo. I thought that, was like, <laughs> I thought that was like a alt-right meme or something. What? cracking a cold one with the boys no it's just like a i just see all the like I, that's where i saw it first oh uh, really yeah on all right twitter yeah i saw a picture today it was like <laughs> it was like this monster <laughs> it's like this old painting of this monster eating a whole bunch of people and it was like cracking a cracking a cold boy with, or <laughs> here we go <laughs> you got it it's not as good when i <laughs> like, it's not joke just doesn't land if i fuck no. it up the first time i don't even <laughs> want to say what it was because i forget it was like cracking a cracking a cold boy with the ones or some shit oh boy know. yeah this Damn one's it. this one's hurting um this is not representative of cody's stand-up it's not nearly this good <laughs> <laughs> you you i have seen me do stand up yeah the most amount of times yeah noel was actually the one who got me into stand-up mm-hmm. i um broke him we, in should we tell that story how we met yeah fuck it. why not me or you uh i can tell it no, you tell it. Yeah, I'll tell it tell from, from my, your perspective. Yeah. I've told it plenty of times. Okay. Yeah. So wait, wait one second. Wait. Yeah. Just so they know, I'm still drinking a cold one. Uh, just uh, cheers. Cheers with the boys. With the boys. This is also a fundamental difference between you and me. Mm-hmm. You drinking coffee and me drinking beer. Yeah. So classic. <laughs> Absolutely classic. Anyway, sorry. We'll we'll talk about that. Later. Yeah. We'll get into a lot. Uh, so the story is, I <clears throat> was working at full screen mm-hmm. as a web developer. Yep. And You're still, still are. Yep. And on my orientation day, they, uh, the it guy walked in with a laptop and he goes, Cody, Cody call a, uh, is he here? <laughs> and I'm, everyone looks around the room. Like there's no Cody in this room. He's like, <laughs> okay, well, uh, and then the lady pipes up. She's like, Oh, it's not starting yet. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, whatever. I didn't really care. <clears throat> then we're going through. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I, know, I just didn't really give a well, shit. Well, I didn't realize that would have been your last name. Like, uh, it didn't hit me. Okay. Okay. So she said the, my fuck, my long, long Yeah. Last like name. she was just like, oh, he'll, he'll be starting. She didn't even say your name. She was like, he'll be starting later. Do you so, even know how to pronounce my last name? Call it Jessica. Oh, there, yeah. Okay, there, there we go. So then they take us on the bullshit tour and we go through the HR room and they have your name up on a whiteboard. It says Cody Co. Okay. But I'm like, it's a senior iOS. And I'm like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I didn't know your background as like an engineer or anything. So I'm like, just because I had assumed everyone on vine was like, just cashing out on vine yeah. and did not need real jobs. Yeah. I'm like, nah, it's not gonna be that dude. Like 
He's got, he's making money off all this bullshit content. I should have been. Yeah, right? I should have been. I fucking regret it. But we can talk about that too. But we can talk. So, just a little background. Sorry, I can keep going with the story for a second. But um, Noel and I both used to Vine, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. That's how I, I think someone, like someone VM'd the other one was like, yo. Yeah, no, I, I had, I had VM'd you because okay. someone pointed out to me, they're like, dude, Cody follows you. I was like, oh. <laughs> again whatever that means didn't care at all and like just by, that? well because i didn't like I, I don't know i guess i was so new to it i didn't like look at followers and go like oh shit like yeah, yeah. i wasn't like trying to cash out or whatever but just standard like whenever someone followed me that i thought was funny or whatever i just like hit them up like hey man if you want to shoot something because you know like my background was shooting longer stuff yeah and that's what i wanted to be doing so i was only doing vine because uh it was like a good thing to do when i wasn't on stage but either way um so I saw your name and I still didn't think it was you. Okay. Like, I'm like, uh, I just assumed it was a weird abbreviation or something. Yeah. Cause you didn't think I'd be a. Yeah. Engineer. I didn't think you would be an engineer. Like <laughs> why? <laughs> Who wants to fucking be? Because engineer? I have a, I have a really dumb persona online. I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like before the YouTube shit, like, yeah. you know, like the, my tweets are just like inane. I mean, they still are. Absolutely. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Either way. So, um, sorry. My brain is like trying to. St- yeah, me too. Look- or both just like <laughs> no Noel, noel's tired because he organized and produced a sketch today shot the whole thing in north hollywood i'm yeah. tired because i drank way too much last night living the life again yeah the fucking yeah this is so classic yeah stark stark difference anyway sorry no you're fine so uh then uh, i forgot what it happened basically it had occurred to me i'm like oh shit it might actually be this dude uh-huh. um I forgot why either I think I had just like typed your name and I added iOS mm-hmm. and then I like, and one, like one of the apps came up or I, it was, it was one of those things. So it just had, I made the connection. I'm like, Oh shit, this is actually gonna be this dude. <laughs> so then I'm sitting down like the day you started and I'm laughing because I'm like, like I, I kind of look around the room and I'm like, there's only one empty chair here. And at this time full screen was like stacked with engineers. I'm like, this is just stupid. You know? Yeah. Then I go to lunch and I come back and, and it was like, right there, you, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like walked in like, what's up, man? And you were like, whoa, whoa, what, what the <laughs> fuck? The look on your face was hilarious. You're like, what the, you fucking work here? I'm like, yeah. You're like, like right here. I'm like, yeah. You're like, whoa, oh shit. Good to meet you, buddy. I'm like, that's, that's your yeah. impression of me. Th- that's how, that's how you reacted. That's like verbatim what you said. I said, good to meet you, buddy. You said, good to meet you, buddy. I didn't say buddy. Yeah, you did. You said, who the fuck says buddy? You, you said, good to meet you, buddy. And you shook my hand. It was, <laughs> oh, that's so like condescending and weird. <laughs> oh, good to meet you, champ. Hey, good to meet you. <laughs> then immediately, like we talked a little bit, then you're like, how do you get your vine so crispy? <laughs> I'm like, he's going to steal all my trade secrets. And alas, I alas. did. <laughs> That's that's exactly that's exactly what happened. Yeah, right there. One and done. Walked in. I just remember we were talking for a little bit, like trying to plan a, like a something to a video or some shit. Yep. And uh, and then I walked in and it was there. And so we were like literally across from each other, <laughs> staring at each other. <laughs> so funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah. And then we started doing sketches and shit together. Yeah. What was the first sketch we ever did? The. Oh, was it the? Oh no! You know what it was? The Coke one, wasn't it? Coke. No, no, that was after. I think, I think the first one was the one we did for Dan. The, um, yeah, that was, yeah. Yeah. Fucking that sweater one. We did a sketch for my friend's <laughs> clothing company, GLD. I don't know if any of you guys, it's like a jewelry company. Shout out Dan Folger. Shout out Dan Folger. Um, I think man, he might be watching this. Yeah. He thinks you're like the funniest person in the world. Really? Yeah. Every time I'm with him, he's like, dude, you got to tell him the well. He's fucking hilarious. That's crazy. And I'm like, really? I look at his life like, and I'm like, this fool, I'll never know this kind of money. I will never know this kind of money. Or just life and like, yeah. Dude, he just bought a fucking jet ski. Yeah. And we, we, that's the thing we joke about. You can't buy a jet ski when you're 23. That's not allowed to happen. There's <laughs> like a, you, you have to be like, you have to have suffered a yeah. certain amount of bad things before you're yeah. allowed to own a jet ski, yeah. you know? <laughs> like you have to be like 45 on your second marriage. Yeah destroyed a family already you left a city to move to arizona where there's a lake where you can afford <laughs> to have the jet ski exactly and he owns it in like one of the most expensive cities to own it, it was fucking miami <laughs> you know what i'm saying like when we were joking first of all when we made the keep your dick fat video we were joking on instagram stories that we bought some jet skis because there were some jet skis that we wanted to shoot on whatever yeah. i wonder if dan saw that and was like oh shit finally <laughs> 
friends I can take out to the lake. <laughs> Finally, fuck. Still, some of my friends yeah. caught up. Yeah, I've been waiting. It's about goddamn time. I was wondering when my friends would get jet skis. I look at, whenever I look at a story by Dan, like an Instagram story, I feel like I'm not working hard enough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah, just wrote a script. I feel good. And he's like, I'm out in this city. Just met this guy promoting my shit. I'm like, well, fucking. I, <laughs> I just can't, I can't, I want to own a jet ski. Yeah. 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 G wagon. And then the jet ski. <laughs> oh, what's you have the, over you here? have the diaper bag Maybe lady. I should, I should close the thing, but it's so fucking hot in here. Yeah. No, don't do it that. It just gets so hot in the summer. I hate LA. I hate this fucking city. <laughs> Did some girl DM me the other day? And she goes, she goes, yeah. Like it looks like your Instagram story is just you like drinking and surfing <laughs> and, and just hanging out with your friends. Is that what LA life is? I was like, kind, kind of, of yeah. yeah honestly yeah yep just kind of um, what it is it's 40 percent traffic 20 <laughs> percent waiting in some kind of line yeah and uh you know i mean you already know where i'm going with this because i tried to fucking do a video on this but it pisses me off i realize why la is like this because i always thought la was this dense urban city and really it's not like okay. if you go to like london or barcelona these are the things i learned when i was over there yeah that shit is dense like it's these old buildings they're at least 20 stories high and like they're all mixed use so you can pack a ton of shit in there like at any given moment you're within walking range of a million things la it's like there's only nine good things that you like yeah. and they're all in different areas of LA yeah. and like to get to them, you have to sit in fucking two hours to get to the place. Yeah. It's just this great, it's this fucking, it's even, just, even like CVS. Yeah. Like going, or like for me right now, going to the grocery store. I hate it. It's like hell. I hate it. There's, there's one grocery store near my place. It's Iro, Iro win or whatever the okay. one. It's like an upscale whole foods. Oh yeah. Which like, think about that for a second. An upscale whole foods. <laughs> $19 chicken. Like someone, someone in a, someone, the pitch meeting for that store, someone walked in and was like, listen, I want to make a trendy whole foods. And someone's like, whole foods already is the trendiest, most expensive you can get. Nah, bro. And he was like, try me, bitch. <laughs> and he opened up this store. It was like, we got chips and salsa and it was like 30 bucks. Oh. It was like organic, the freshest chips and salsa I've ever had. And they're chips. Yeah. So you, you can't really make fresh chips. Somehow they made fresh chips. I think that's one of those things. I think that's also a thing about making money. When you make something so expensive, you convince yourself that it's fucking awesome. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It may or may not be. <laughs> here he goes. Sorry. You're fine. Fid just fidget spinning over here. Just fidgeting. Just fidgeting, bro. I, yeah. I like living in LA though. That's what I'm saying. It's LA like most, it's 40% traffic and then 60% drinking, surfing, hanging out with your friends. Yeah. Yeah. No, LA, LA I, I used to like really hate it. But after I went to like other parts of the world, I'm like, you know, it's, it's really not that bad. Yeah. Like the traffic sucks. Sure. But if you can get around that, it's fucking awesome. Weather's constant. I know you can buy a, like you can wear clothes from last year. You can't do that. Like in, in some other places. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Like you this can't, is something I want to talk about because I'm, you were just in Barcelona. Yeah. I'm going there on Friday. Yeah, Let's talk about it. Yeah. We you were. like to travel. Yeah, I do. I mean, like I, I have only traveled like recently like, until like a year ago. Okay. Like my girlfriend, Alina, she forced me to go to Thailand. She forced me to go somewhere. She like, forced you. Yeah. Because I was so like, I didn't think traveling was important. I'm okay. like, ah, who gives a shit? Yeah. Like, I just want to sit here and work on videos. And she was like, you fucking nerd, like get out of the house. Yeah. So she like enticed me with a resort. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> The funny thing about that is, so I, I had Bitcoin and I cashed it out to pay for some of the trip. Okay. Because at, at that time it was like. Oh, I bet you were doing that now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So like at that time, this was after the crater and it had ran up to like, I don't know, 450 a coin. I hadn't been there in a long time. And I'm like, fuck yeah. So like I, I dumped it and we spent it. <laughs> Just for those listening, uh, Bitcoin is now trading for 2,500 a coin. Yep. So, you know, that would have been a cool. How much did you have? One and a half. It wasn't a lot. Yeah, I had. It's the same. I think I had two. My Bitcoin story is fucking terrible. It's, what, I hate it. What is it? Oh my God. I, we'll, we'll get back to the traveling in a second. We'll get back to the traveling. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, that's, I mean, silver lining is like, that was such a fucking great lesson in business. But so at the time, uh, it was just Bitcoin and then Litecoin, uh, was like the peripheral and yeah. it was like just those two that yeah, were known yeah. of. So Bitcoin is popping off. It had hit 200. Litecoin went from five. It started to like ramp up. Uh, 
<laughs> I had planned on actually buying some and I just didn't. I would have had a hundred grand if I bought the amount I was going to buy. Jesus. Yeah. Fuck. Fucking missed there. So I'm like, oh shit, I'm going to, I'm going to get back. So there was this rush to buy these graphics cards that could mine the light coins. Yeah. And I don't know, I assume no one knows what this is, but basically people, you fucking, you can build a computer and it will do computer shit and you get these invisible coins that count as money. And then yeah, someone, I mean, people know what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin, yeah. More they don't know how you get it. Right. Or yeah. how you create, like, right. There's a set amount. Yeah. And then there's computers that you can use yeah. where like all the processing power will go towards mining, which mm-hmm. is just like mining. It's like just the digital, because your processor is running and using energy or whatever, it's like doing work and earning Bitcoin, I yeah. guess. Yeah. So me and my coworkers, we had, um, we, we basically went and bought out all these graphics cards. And, um, we built these computers. I was running three miners. They were fucking like ripping, like they were mining so much Litecoin. I was running them at my mom's place. Yeah. And, uh, it, it was terrible. Cause it was like having kids, like yeah. trying to remote in and make sure they were on. And like, you'd have cards going down <laughs> and like, I'm like, this is fucking, this is dumb. You have like a nanny cam. Yeah, pretty much. I'm like, <laughs> are they too hot? Like, are they okay? How are my babies? Yeah, how are my babies doing? <laughs> so, Oh my God. And I fried like motherboards because I was like putting them on these janky shelves and like they were touching metal and I was just, it was stupid. So, um, I get hosed on that inevitably because, you know, the coin ran up in value. I traded up for Bitcoin and then Bitcoin started tanking. And then I tried to sell the miners and Litecoin was useless at that point. So the value on all the hardware I had bought, like was going down because they raised the prices while I was buying them. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So I ended up losing like, a, like 1500 bucks or two grand, but that's because, so I could have made a profit. And I, when I sold the miners, I made profit on a couple. It was one I sold to a guy in New York. It's some fucking piece of shit Russian guy. I se- I sell him the miner. It gets to him. He's, he emails me. He's like, yo, it's not working. There's something wrong with it. I try to call him. I try to troubleshoot it. He just sends it back. Like doesn't even, okay. you know, I get it back. It's in fucking like a thousand pieces. It's completely shattered. Like the structure of the miner was destroyed because I had like built it like with PVC and I like packaged it really well. So it was like, it was ready to go out of the box. And then like he sent it back to me. It was like completely shredded. The hardware was just like floating around loose. Like he took, <laughs> he, he ran a fucking a cell phone store. Like I had done all this research on him because I wanted to fucking murder this guy. Cause at that time I was very broke. Okay. So this really fucked me over. And, uh, he sent it back and like, you know, like, uh, how do I say this? Cell phone cases, they sometimes come in like this, like bubble wrap, but it's like really small. Okay. He just threw a shitload of that in there to package it. Okay. So he just dropped the hardware in and like layers of this shit and had a massive box. Okay. And like, it was way too big. It could fit like two baby cribs. <laughs> and it's just like four graphics cards, a processor and a hard drive. And they're just floating around. I get this box. I'm like, you have got to be shitting me. So it broke on the, sh- in the shipment. No, like he tore it apart and then sent it back to me completely fucked up. Like he did, like it was his own doing. It's fucked up. Just, so I get it. I take pictures I, and like eBay's like, hey, you got to issue this guy a refund. I'm like, for fucking this thing up? No way. And they, I send them pictures and they're like, they just ignore me. And like, they sent it to a collection agency and I'm like, nah. So you got, you got served? No. Oh, okay. Because never- they called me once. Okay. And I like went off. I was like, that thing was completely fucking broken. I sent you guys pictures. You guys are full of shit. That I like, I just lost my cool. I went full white guy, okay. full white guy rage. <laughs> okay. When I'm angry, that's when I'm a hundred percent white. That's when it comes out. Dude, getting angry at someone on the phone is like a very white thing. It's extremely like, white. Let thing. me talk to your fucking manager. Yeah. yeah. I will so not white. stand for this. Okay. <laughs> my pizza arrived and half the toppings are on the, are it's disgusting. Off of it. It's, dis- it's disgusting. <laughs> I said extra pineapple. There's three. I counted <laughs> extra pineapple. <laughs> everyone hates so it's like the whitest thing ever also to eat pineapple yeah, on pizza I absolutely said extra pineapple on extra this pineapple thing. it's funny because like a few of my good friends you know they're black and it the they would always okay clown. we get it you have black friends I have cool. black friends dude they would well i just like it's funny because i observe everything is race because i have no racial identity okay we can talk about that but yeah. <laughs> i like how we went from traveling to this and also like we've said oh we'll come back to that we'll come back second. to that later <laughs> Uh, heads that's up, guys, we're coming back to nothing. <laughs> nothing will be coming Every time we say that, it's a lie. Yeah, it's a lie. It's a lie. We're lying Sorry. to you. Lying. So I just think it's funny because even Gian and I were talking about this, like the stark dif- <sighs> difference there. <laughs> um, that like my black friends, they never got angry like that. Like they'd always clown me like if when I got really pissed, 
Like yeah. one of my good friends, Paul, he'd always, he'd laugh okay. really hard when okay. I got really upset. <laughs> he'd be like, dang, you're mad. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he could never be that angry. And even when he was, he just, just kind of like, just kind of stone cold about it. <laughs> so it was always like, that's like the main thing I take away. Okay. Like he just had a kid and we've been talking about like emotions and shit. I feel like that's why he'll do well as a father because he knows how to like keep it in, like be strong. Yeah. I feel like my kid will just learn all the wrong things from me. Like, all right, yell at the pizza man. Yell at people on the phone, <laughs> get irrationally angry at, at technology. Like let, let, just let everything upset you and yeah. make life difficult and miserable. <laughs> Bleak. I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. You're not that bad. No, I'm not that bad. You said, you told me you used to have like really bad rage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you, how did you get over that? Uh, I, it was like a combination of things. I think this sounds fucking dumb, but like you, I mean, you know this, I used to play a shitload of video games. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I think that culture, like for a kid, yeah, is extremely toxic. Like it teaches you like not how to interact with people. Yeah. Like it's exclusively like cussing at people, <laughs> demanding things. Pissing off so many gamers right now. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> well, no, I mean it depends. Well, I should caveat I played Counter Strike, which is like yeah, yeah, yeah. and I played it in a in a team setting, okay. which was just oh yeah. uh, there you go. Yeah. Cause when I was playing, it was very easy to hack. Okay. So you'd get like these kids that were cheating. I was fucking naive. I never knew that they were hacking and it just became a competition thing. So like you're like fucking 14 and there's a kid who seems to be like godlike next to you. Yeah. And it, like you're playing this game because you're competitive. Yeah. They just start like, do you fucking blow? Then it turns them the whole team like, do you fucking suck? And I'd be like playing on these teams and I would get cut. Like from a team for being bad. Okay. How do you get Jesus. cut by 13 year olds? It's extremely like advanced dynamics for a child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Like to actually like hold, like, and be like, sorry, man, like you're not pulling your weight. Yeah. Yeah. And we need, we need a better KD ratio <laughs> yep, out, of, yeah, yeah. out of you. And, and uh, yeah, sorry. Because it's not like sports. It's not of the caliber <laughs> that our team demands at this point in our franchise. Yeah, pretty much. And it's not like sports where like, there's like a tangible thing there. Like you go out, you shoot the ball, whatever. Like video games is like software. Like if you get packeted or like your internet sucks, you're like, dude, it didn't register. It's very easy to be like bullshit. You can't do that in basketball. Yeah. Like on the server, the ball. It's just played on the ref. Yeah. But it's just, you know, it's not anyway. So like to get over it, I think like, first of all, I started going outside. Okay. I started interacting with regular people. Okay. And then like, That's I great. Yeah. It's a great start. start. It's a good start, start somewhere. Point. I think I like lost my cool with people. And then they had kind of been like, Oh, you're okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're a little, um, let me, let me help you out here. Uh, you okay. can't talk to people like uh, that. So I got sunned like a few times <laughs> and then like calling dudes like, yeah, just like, Oh, <laughs> shut the fuck up, you bitch. And they're like, excuse me. <laughs> Such a video game thing to do. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and then I, I don't know. I always like, I also had a lot of like drive to like just not be in my city. So I, I ended up working in a lot of like weird fucking jobs and I started being around like old, like people a lot older than me Yeah, and people who were like, like I used to work in this music studio. I've told you about this, but you know, those guys were like, they were fucking broke, but they were hustling their ass off and they ended up like pretty good. But that, I think that was like the turning point when I started to like be an adult and like shut the fuck up. Cause this guy, I don't want to say his name. Actually I'll say his name. Dez. You don't have to say his name. Well, no, no one would know him by this. Okay, okay. We'll just call him Dez. Okay. Um, he had like a, like a, a issue with his eye. Like, okay. so it was like fucked up. Okay. And like he couldn't see out of it. And I remember I said like the most bitch thing, like we were working in the studio late one night and I was like, Dez, I want to go home. I'm tired. <laughs> He like, he was recording something. He fucking smashed the space bar. He turns around. He's like, he's from Boston. He's like short guy, like a lot of fucking temper. He's like, you're tired, bro. You're tired. You know how the fuck I got in this business? I'm 26. When I was 14, I was engineering at a studio in the hood. Okay. I'm talking about guys that was holding up guns to me saying like, nah, keep going. We want, we want to let little man rap some more. You think I told him I was tired? <laughs> I was like, shit, 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 shit. Which is like, you know, like I was like no, young but, and stupid, but it just like, that's when it had occurred to me. Like, all right, the things I get mad about are fucking dumb. Okay. Yeah. And then I kind of took that and ran with this. It so it's like, like there, like there are worse. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think I had no concept of like what bad was. Okay. <laughs> then I'd ran into enough people. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah. Okay. That's bad. Yeah. 
not fucking my computer being slow. That's a f- <laughs> or being tired or being tired. Yeah, I used to play fucking Call of Duty. Yeah, and uh, Gears of War. That's yeah. the one I used to play. Like, like me and my friends would fucking get together like online. But I felt like Gears of War was like it was still fun. Like it oh, never, yeah. it yeah, was never like yeah. So you could like chainsaw dudes in mm-hmm. half. Yeah, which like when that first came out, we were like, whoa, <laughs> this is the best game ever. <laughs> Like, you know, slamming Mountain Dew. Yeah. Fucking just. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude again. Dude again. I love chainsawing dudes in half. This is a feeling I didn't know I wanted to feel. <laughs> uh, shout out to Gear of the War, by the way. Shout out, shout out Gal. Anyway, so traveling. Um, yeah, so uh, you. Okay, we were talking yeah. about clothing. You. Yeah, but. Okay, yeah. Well, go ahead. Quick thing there. Yeah. So I feel like if you. It's, it's not. I'm just saying LA relative to other places that experience like actual, like seasonal change. Mm -hmm. I feel like in LA, the weather is so straight that you could buy one, like you just buy a set of clothes and never change it for like Mm -hmm. 10 years (laughs) and be like, Oh, styles changed. What do you think? What do you think I do? Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I've been wearing the same fucking, I mean, I bought the shirt yesterday actually, but the fucking burgundy shirt or like (laughs) my vlogs used to wear that green shirt. (laughs) Well, Okay, first off, anyone roasting you for wearing green needs to shut the fuck up. Walk into a store right now in any men's section. Try to find a shirt that isn't fucking green or a shade of green. <laughs> Remember we were on set for Goat Rodeo and someone was like, they say green is the new black for 2016 or whatever. Okay. I'm like, who the fuck? After that point, I'm like, every shirt is fucking green. I cannot get a shirt that's not green. <laughs> that's a great observation. Yeah, it's fucking pissing. It's so stupid. But I walk, I walk into the store... Yesterday on Abikini to buy this shit. It's a store I've been going to for a long fucking time. Their shit is like, it basically like their pitch is like, it's affordable, but like nice men's clothing. Right? Yeah. I walk in. It's just a story sucks ass already. <laughs> already. I'm regretting saying this. It's so stupid. It's the stupidest story ever. I walk in and I pick out, I pick out this shirt. It's a, it's a, it's a green. Yep. <laughs> it was actually green, okay. light green. It's like a, uh, you know, like a button up shirt, but short sleeve yeah. summer, right? right? For summer. Look, try it on, liked it, fit, whatever. Then I go and pick up a shirt for underneath it. And she starts, and I'm like, just, yeah, do it. I love it. And so she starts ringing it up. And uh, it was $160 for the, a short sleeve. Now that may not seem like that much, but I feel like for a short sleeve button up shirt, it's not that much material. No. To a shirt like that. No. 160 bucks? Yeah. This shirt was $20. Yeah. From the same store. That's no. I told you it was a bad story. Yeah. But did you buy it? No, I didn't fucking buy okay, it. Okay. That- She's ringing it up. I'm like, no. I was like, Wait, that's 160 bucks? And she was like, she was like, yeah. And I was like, oh yeah, no. Then just absolutely I'm not doing that. That's way too expensive. And she's like, yeah, I don't know. And I was like, have you always had this? Like, did you guys raise your prices? She was like, no, it started like that. Like, you know, we when this shirt came out, it was that price. And I was like, that is just seems so unreasonable. She was like, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I just fucking work here, buddy. I don't know why you're complaining uh, to see, me. That's, that's white right the, there. I don't own that's the white right there. That's white right there. I want you I, to explain the corporate strategy <laughs> behind this T-shirt. Let you, me speak to your manager, please, because honestly, this is ludicrous. <laughs> this is absolutely reprehensible <laughs> that you market a product this way. I want the two of you to answer for the entire company right now, okay? Because all it starts at the top and it comes down. It's me and you. I'm the customer. Who's going to do what? Who's going to do what? That's a white thing, just making up a phrase. <laughs> Who's going to do what? They stick to it. Who's going to do what? Someone needs to do something. And I'm not doing the what. You're doing the what. So get someone who can do the what. She's like, she's like, I'll, I'll do the what. I mean, I'll do, I'll do the what. I just, I'm not, I don't, okay. I don't want this fucking thing. Okay, great. Okay. Okay. Do the what. Thanks. And they're always like so saucy back to you. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's the worst thing ever to talk, to get mad to a person, like an airline person yeah, they don't. on the phone. They don't. Because they don't give a Fuck not one. and it just makes you more mad yeah that they don't give a fuck that they're not you're not getting to them you know and they don't care and so it's just like this awful cycle of you being like well i mean i booked the flight it's it's insane that it's insane that you guys won't refund me for this because you know it was delayed and it's not my fault i missed my connection and she's like sir uh i'm doing everything i can no you're not you're not doing everything you can't you can you can just refund me okay sir it's not company policy for re- for us to refund you fucking just do it she's playing fucking solitaire as you're saying all of this she's like yeah i'm so sorry then she keeps up. <laughs> bro when i worked in a call center we figured out that we could crash the phones <laughs> okay. so when someone was like fyi people when you think you got hung up on you absolutely did <laughs> you, <laughs> really yes you got hung up on really like, most of the time yeah so wait 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 wait, wait, wait. 
Oh. Sorry. Oh, we got to restart the camera here. One second. Oh, who knows when this happened? Can oh. you just like uh, keep them entertained with your white person impression? Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, camera's off, <laughs> and this is just. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, buddy. Um, someone's got to do this what? Because um, <laughs> I didn't. Come, I came here to shop. I didn't come here to do the what. So get up the phrase. Who's gonna do what? Who's gonna do what? Where's the nearest sweet greens? <laughs> I'm going to move for a salad. I'm going to get a salad from another store because this store is, is displeasing. It's insane. Yeah. It's so insane. we could, we figured out we could crash the phones and that was the funniest thing. Like you'd have someone just going on and on and you're just sitting there. So what you do is like, or at least on our phones, we would just spam these two buttons. Okay. Cause they would, uh, they would query the phone as to how many calls were in the queue. Okay. So you would like, you could, and there were two queues. So you're basically just DDoSing your phone <laughs> yeah. with these buttons. <laughs> okay. So like you'd be sitting there and you're like, like this is fucking you're like uh-huh yep tap 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 tap, and your phone would just die <laughs> and then like you'd go back to why your, wouldn't you just hang up because you'd be recorded if you hung up so like your manager could see that no way yeah call center metrics are insane dude really yeah yeah what were you uh can you say like who you were doing like yeah. call center shit yeah. for uh, ing direct it? really yeah like the bank the bank yep really yep huh Right there on fucking uh, on the 405, like that big green building. Yeah. I was working in that for like a year. Wow, that's fucking depressing. Uh-huh. You know how many depressing jobs I've had? Like, yeah. Tell me what, what other depressing <laughs> jobs you've had. The studio job was pretty depressing. Okay. Because so that was like, were... that was the outlaws used to record in that studio, like Tupac. Like Really? Tupac Not outlaws. while you were working there. No, of course not. Okay. No, <laughs> definitely not. 40 years old. And that was like... That was crazy because I would see all kinds of rappers, rappers who fell off, rappers who were on the come up, but like... It, just watching these guys they were working so fucking hard they never slept they're working like 24 hours a day yeah and they pivoted at some point and they built up a music catalog and they were able to sell it to sony and like so all their hard work had paid off but i mean the bags under their eyes the the bot they look like they just got in fights every day like with how little they were sleeping they never <laughs> went home they right. even they even canceled the rent at one point they were just living in the studio oh my god and i would show up multiple days in a row and sometimes they just hadn't left Cause like, they're just working, 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 you know? How did you get this job? So a friend of mine, uh, his mom is like deep in the music game and she knew them and they, they hit her up saying they're looking for an intern. So okay. we were both working there. Okay. And then eventually we alternated and then eventually we were like, yeah, fuck this. We're okay. not getting paid. Um, there, what's another depressing job? Ooh, I was a cashier at Bed Bath and Beyond for three months. Oh my God. Yeah. That was like, <sighs> <laughs> I never felt so dead end. <laughs> That's like, that was my first, like that was one of my first jobs out of high school. And it was, and you're just what? Like, just what, what was it? Was shit you see Shit's um, people buying a lot of quilts? <laughs> no, no, it was like, so I work, I worked in the summer. So it was a lot of people going to college Yeah, and it was a constant reminder of how, hard i had failed school oh, so it was just God. all these people just like yeah i'm going to usc all right i'm like fucking cool just like scanning their trash can yeah i'm like Boop. that's when i They're felt like, like this one's for my second bathroom yeah <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> three bedroom that's when i felt small town i'm like oh i'm the idiot like that character in movies who's like a dumbass who just works at register like that's yeah, how yeah. i felt okay. and like yeah was that when you first moved to la i moved to la and i was like five. Oh, really yeah Oh yeah, I've like lived here pretty much the entire. Are your parents um, still here, or are they? In yeah, Santa? yeah, no, yeah, they're still here in or, LA or, or not? In LA, Santa, Santa Clarita. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So we had moved there. We lived in Northridge, and this earthquake happened, and then we moved back, and then we came back. Okay. So anyway, uh, another depressing job. Um, oh, this one is fucking brutal. This is I worked this for two weeks. Okay. So uh, this was a job where it was cold calling, and I was working for some weird, these two weird women who had conned me in this interview. Like they had all this experience with these different brands and they made themselves seem really special. And they had an office here in Santa Monica and it was cold calling random businesses, trying to sell them web development work. Oh God. Digital commercials. Like, and I just had to sit there for two weeks calling these numbers. Jesus. Being like, hi, this is Noel from source solutions. Like, are and you, you just get hung up on every yeah. time? Oh my God. It was so uncomfortable. It was Jesus. so fucked up. You know, what's funny was she was like, Oh, you're young. You seem like you have the drive. You know, the last guy who was in here, he was a comedian, you know, and they're kind of cynical. So they hate this shit. And I'm laughing because I'm like, this is when I was like dreaming of doing stand up. Okay. And I'm like, I don't think she knows who she just hired. 
<laughs> like you just hired an, an aspiring comedian. I'm going to talk shit about this. <laughs> this fucking sucks it's like the reason why you're doing it. it's like this mm -hmm. is for my material yeah bitch <laughs> yeah i quit that shit so fast you did it for two weeks yeah and then you quit it yeah because it was that mm -hmm. bleak yep and i was working as a fucking yeah. extra before that Ooh. movie extra dog like i have bombed for so many years and then that whole thing like uh when i was like trying to start a production company yeah. like when i had like really found like my interest in like you know cinematography and shit okay um and I had like learned web development for, uh, you know, to build this website. Okay. That was like the first time I'm like, shit, I finally have a marketable skill. Huh. And like, I just took that and like ran with it. Yeah. Yeah. So that was only like three years ago. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. So up until three years ago, I've been like fucking broke. Yeah. Just like fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I mean like, yeah, but you, you turned that around. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. You 100%. Now you have a fucking dope car. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Shout out to my girlfriend, her, <laughs> her amazing credit. Shout out Alina. Shout out Alina. Um, no, and she is 50% why I'm like not a loser. Really? Yeah. I, almost a hundred actually. I'm huh. gonna say a hundred. Okay. Because she basically like found me and I'm like, she's like, you're smart, but you're dumb. Mm -hmm. Like that's kind of what she had realized. And she was the one who got me the dev job because she was like, I know you could do this. You just like kind of need some help. Yeah. So she like put me in touch with her coworker and then she put me in touch with a recruiter and then like I, I got lucky with that and then um her family just like totally looked out for me like tried to put me in uh like they've always helped me like hey i know someone who works at this place maybe you could work there and like so her and her family like you know they're the ones that like pulled me yeah. out of being a fucking simp like yeah. just a dumbass yeah and now you work fucking hard <laughs> oh, thanks man yeah. i try <laughs> so you worked at a fucking call center you were an extra mm -hmm. you sold like web, you sold yeah. like development services to random businesses. Random businesses. You worked at Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm -hmm. You worked at Best Buy too, didn't you? Yeah, I worked at Best Buy. It's like the five most depressing jobs uh -huh. ever possible. Like I'd rather be a janitor <laughs> at fucking at Venice public <laughs> bathrooms. I'd rather clean those up than work at a fucking call center. No offense if you work at a call center. Actually, yeah. you can take offense to that. No, you, no, no offense. Uh, because I know you gotta make ends meet and whatnot and you gotta do what yeah. you gotta do. And sometimes that's what, what it entails. Yeah. You know? No, cause but I like you, you, you put in your dues. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've, I've suffered. Cause ING direct was like the best experience you could have in a call center. And it was still like, it sucked ass. Yeah. So I could only imagine like if you're a call center for like fucking time Warner cable. Yeah. Oh. Or like an airline. Or just an airline. Yeah. Just getting fucking yelled at all, all day. day. What's something that people like hate besides airlines, like, like a call, like, Someone like a, uh, you know, like a customer helpline that people call and they always get mad. Oh, uh, Time Warner is probably one of them. That the Time Warner is one because people Verizon, hate calling like it. That. Um, yeah, something wrong with your phone. Yeah. People hate that shit. Yeah. Any, pretty much any technical support. Here's, I think, oh, let's, let's drill down. Time Warner, when your cable has gone out during a pay-per-view event. Okay. Th that's probably when, <laughs> okay. you know, when it's like Pacquiao Mayweather. Yeah. And like, you know, I have purchased so much food. I have 19 guests in here. Like that's the favorite thing I'm sure yeah. they hear. Yeah. People naming how many people are in their house. Yeah. Like just bragging. <laughs> I have a hundred people here waiting. It's like, oh, well, nice to know you have a small club in your house. I can't fucking do <laughs> shit about it. <laughs> it's going. Cool. Cool. Nice cool. to know how many friends you have. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have friends here. Okay. And some of them are black. <laughs> Great. Excellent. <laughs> they came here for Mayweather. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, did you see the Mayweather Mayweather pack or uh, Mayweather fucking McGregor fight is on? Um, yeah, well, yeah. I mean, we could talk about it. I, you know, any sports person knows that that's a bullshit match. What's gonna happen? I don't know anything about sports, so I just saw that and I was like, holy fuck, that's insane because I know how cocky both of them are. Yeah, I mean, basically. So Connor Phenom, totally great fighter. Um, he's done a lot, but he. The thing is, dude, and you know what's funny? I, I can relate everything to comedy, but he as a fucking star, in my opinion. So like in sketch, I like read this some time ago where they say, don't escalate the sketch too fast. Otherwise it has nowhere to go. Yeah. And I feel like Connor kind of did that in MMA because yeah. he very quickly had an undefeated record. He was, he, he had the two belts, you know, that was unheard of. They, they had to make, they made him give up one belt. Like he was dominating in two weight classes Yeah. and um, he's making a shitload of money. To the point that like his draw, like he could kind of name his price. Okay. So now he was too big for the UFC. Like he could just make it really expensive for them to host a fight for him. So like he's kind of in like this stalemate situation where it's like, 
well, you know, unless the money's this much, like I'm not going to go fucking fight. I'm not fighting for 200 grand out of your fucking mind. Like, you know, when you're making 20 mil on pay-per-view or whatever it yeah. is. So the Mayweather fight to me is him cashing out. He's going to go in there. He's going to move. He's not really going to engage him. He's probably going to get touched up because Mayweather as a boxer, I mean, he's his, everyone says like he doesn't really fight. I don't know a shitload about boxing. What I do know about Mayweather is extremely defensive fighter. People say he's boring to watch because yeah. he doesn't throw. Yeah. He's because he hurt his hands. Yeah, so yeah. he evolved his style to like just roll with punches, kind of shoot back and then just win on the, like win on the score. He yeah. doesn't knock guys out. Yeah. So that's what Connor has going for him. Yeah. So Connor's is going to go in there, get jabbed up, probably lose and then get a hundred million and never fight again. That's sick. Yeah. Genius. I think it's genius. That's fucking sick. Yeah. Why fucking fight for the rest of your life? Because he's so fucking, I, I bet you that like, I bet you, it seems like he's too like prideful, too mm-hmm. proud to like, do something like that. Like yeah. actually like just like lose on purpose and cash out. He probably won't lose on purpose, but I don't think he believes he's going to destroy Mayweather. Yeah, okay. Or maybe he does. I don't know Did the you guy. see that picture he posted where it's oh, like the was, fight, the fight's on. He's <laughs> just him. Yeah. And his him. Dad. And then the second picture was, it was his, his dad. dad. Is his dad. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's like this really old looking dude. Yeah. With the, with the TMT hat on. Disrespect. What the hell is it? Sorry. Um, what are you getting blown up? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah. Anyway, so traveling, traveling, back yeah. to traveling, back to traveling. Um, what were you saying? Uh, one outfit, one in outfit, LA. LA. I feel like, you know, other places where there's seasons, yeah. you like, you can't do that. You know, like rain, like you do enough rain in one t-shirt. Yeah. Like, oh, this thing's been thrashed. I got to get a new one. Yeah. You know, that's the thing that's great about LA. Even though it's expensive, you save in other areas. Yeah. <laughs> you just never have to buy clothes. That's true. And, and when you do it, they're fucking $166. Yeah. For a short sleeve button up <laughs> shirt, which is a very good summer look, by the way. <laughs> but then I see, I look at that and I'm like, you're kind of damned if you don't. Cause let's say you get some piece of shit t-shirt from H and M. Yeah. You throw that shit in the wash one time. It comes out like two sizes smaller. I know dude, it sucks. So like cheap clothes, like they're fucking cheap. Yeah. Every time I buy some shit from H and M, I'm like, yo, this is sick. It fits well. And it was super cheap. I just saved a bunch of money on it for tonight. And then it fucking, that's died. what it is. I buy, I buy yeah. H&M clothes for the night and then I never wear them again. Cause they, they just, just get destroyed. H&M is completely, you the, wash it one time and you open it up and it's just like it's disintegrated. Shit. It's, it's disgusting. It's fucking <laughs> that H&M is single handedly, probably the most wasteful clothing brand. Yeah. 98% of those clothes get thrown out. Yeah. They don't get given. Yeah, I know. They get thrown up on and thrown away. No one wants that shit. It's <laughs> a great tagline for them. H&M, throw, it up, throw up on it and throw, throw it away. away. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Um, yeah. Spain. Spain. Uh, Spain. What do you think of Spain? It's for single people. Okay. I mean, no, no, no. I'm not going to say all of Spain. I'm just going to say Barcelona. Barcelona. For, for single That's where people. I'm going on yep. Friday. Um, I mean, you can go as a couple. I don't feel like it's extremely charming. The other thing is like, I'm allergic to seafood, which is fucking stupid. Oh yeah, that's lame. Yeah, so I can't like- Why don't you just not do that? <laughs> yeah, let me just die real quick. Just don't be allergic to seafood. Yeah, just don't do it. Yeah. Just don't. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah. You just eat it. I had a really good poke bowl for lunch. Must be, must be nice. Oh, it was so good. You don't know what you're missing. That's the thing that pisses me off about seafood is like now it's like the in thing in LA and everything <laughs> is a fucking poke bowl. And like every, <laughs> everything is- you pokey on it there actually is so many pokey places now they're like colby and adam my friends were here and they go uh we were, came back from surfing and they're like all right let's go let's go get poke and we're all like yeah because you know we're la dudes we're, yeah dude yes <laughs> dude oh my god poke would hit this spot right now <laughs> and so and so we're like which place should we i was like which place are you talking about he's like uh oh it's like down the border i was like oh you're talking about Big Daddy's. He's like, no, no, no. I was like, oh, you're talking about the Poke Shack. Like, no, no, no. I was like, oh, you're talking about like mainland Poke? He's like, no, 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 no. It's another place. I was like, what? There's another one? He's like, yeah. Oh he takes it. Sure enough, he takes me to one I've never even been to. And it's right down the fucking way. Four in a row. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. Yeah. It's just. And it was so good. What is the difference? I don't know what the difference was, but it's like, it's, I don't know. Because I feel like, I feel like you can make the same exact Poke Bowl at every single place and it'll yeah. take the same. It's like the one time you put all the ingredients together, <laughs> like you nail it, you know? Like yeah. I made my own and yeah. I think I fucking nailed it. And so now that place will forever hold right. a place in my heart for the dopest Poke Bowls ever. I don't even know what it's called. I would show you out right now, but I don't know what they're called. The making your own scam is so good. Like making your own, like <laughs> it's so good. Dude, this is. Yeah. 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 Every, like I know Bill Burr has touched on this, but like it's so good. Like, <laughs> What do people in LA love to do? They love to pay double to make food. Like, 
Let's do, let's do Korean barbecue. Yeah, exactly. You pay $40 to, to f- cook meat yeah. yourself to barbecue. You do the labor. Yeah. Yeah. And you come out and you're covered in grease. <laughs> you're, you ruin those clothes. That H&M shirt's gone. It smells like shit. That's the one that goes in the trash. Uh, oh, here's a white thing I do is when I go to eat Korean barbecue, I have shitty clothes that I wear to Korean barbecue because I know they're going to stink. Really? Yeah. Like a shitty pair of jeans and a shirt I don't care about. It's like the specific bit. Like, yeah. I've never even thought of that before. Mm-hmm. How bad it, it it probably smells by you sitting next to a fucking hot grill. Oh, yeah. And it's just in your fucking face. You're just, <laughs> you're just getting like this fucking Korean barbecue <laughs> facial. It's just going in your fucking whatever. Yeah, it's, it's bad. There's that. Make your own poke. Everything's make it your own. I know salads too. Yep. Make your own salad. People go to Whole Foods and they make their own <laughs> it's salad. Genius. I, it really is. Especially when you go to a restaurant. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, yeah, I'll get the. It's like, why do you? What are you doing? Why are you even here then? Why are you here? Just make it. You yourself. know, this place <laughs> was started by a chef. Yeah, who was a professional chef and <laughs> put this recipe or put this menu together <laughs> because they're they're recipes and these are like the, this is the reason why there's a restaurant here <laughs> is because of the recipes and the stuff they serve, not for the ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> It's so stupid. I, I go to Sweet Greens instead of the grocery <laughs> store because they just have the freshest lettuce. No, they buy the same lettuce you do. <laughs> it's all the same shit. That's the thing I hate about LA. I, everyone is desperate to prove that their thing is more niche than you. Okay. Like, I fucking hate that so much. Like, you can never just be like, oh, um, you've been to this place? It's pretty good. Try that. Anyone in LA, they always have a counter suggestion. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Have you been to? They all, that's immediate follow up. And then you'd be getting this weird pissing match where you're like, nah, you think that place is good? Let me talk about this other place. And it just becomes <laughs> like a fucking race to yeah. see who can run out. Yeah. Now that place is good, but, but I got an even better place. <laughs> that could be a sketch right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mainland. Yeah. yeah. That one's all right. Yeah, that one's all right. I remember I tried that a couple of years back. I was used to eat there before I found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big inner monologue. Yeah, yeah. He thinks I don't have any more. Yeah. Wait till he discovered it. <laughs> this one's actually in a basement under a laundromat <laughs> in uh, in yeah, like Koreatown. You got to know a password to get in this one. And then once you get in, it's like it's a secret menu. It's behind the wall. That's actually fucking, there's a coffee shop around here. Yeah. And I Marcus comes know. back one time. <laughs> go ahead. Because it's our favorite shop around here. We always go in and get coffee. And it's like, you know, it's actually absurdly overpriced. It's like, it's like nine bucks for like a Spanish latte that they make, whatever. He comes back. He's like, yo, dude, you know, there's a secret menu at that fucking place. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, yeah, apparently this is what I've learned from my coworkers. You go up and there's a picture on the wall and you take the picture up and it's on the back of the picture. So we're like, dude, I was like, I was like, that's so dumb. We got to go. Yeah, yeah, we got to go find it. Gamifying food. Yeah. And so we go there and we're, we're like trying to play it so cool. Marcus and I are just standing there like, what's up? Like, you know, wait to the employees. Kind of like we're waiting in line, like just scanning the room for the fucking picture, right? <laughs> just like trying to trying to keep it cool, trying to make it look like we're not fucking drug addicts, like yeah. paranoid as fuck, right? <laughs> Looking around, finally we see the picture. And I'm like, yo, that's it right there. And I can see like the scrape marks on the wall. Oh my God. From people like pulling it up yeah. and down. And I didn't know how to get it off the wall. So I'm like pulling on it and it's not coming off. It's just coming off on the bottom. So I was like, oh my God, this feels like I'm going to break something. Finally realized you have to slide it up yep. and then off. Mm-hmm. And so I slid it and I turn it around. And it is. There's three secret menu items, and they're even more expensive oh than the original. It's like oh my God, it's like a latte genius. with like it's like a latte like garnished with an orange slice, and that it's like genius. fifty bucks or some shit. That is so. Genius. And it comes in a glass like this big, and you have to. They don't do it to go because it's oh, you too have, small. Oh, you have to do it there. You have to drink it there. It's oh like one God. sip. It's like a shot of espresso <laughs> with a, with orange zest, and it's like sixty bucks. <laughs> you know, it'd be a good. Uh, that's a good prank for people. What? Just make up secret menu things. <laughs> have you been to this restaurant and there's a secret menu? You have to go into the bathroom. You have to lift up the toilet seat on the third stall. It's engraved in that toilet. And if it's not there, then you got to lick it and a troll comes out and he tells you what they are. You know, Or I would just tell people you have to say like a, a not real Japanese word to a Japanese person. Yeah. Like ask for the shingin <laughs> And they go try that and they're like, you and they're just- fucking racist. <laughs> ass well, that's one thing i wanted to talk about race <laughs> <laughs> speaking of dark things, um, um i'm moving actually, on. what are you what, what see this is a this is a running joke with yeah. noel and i because no one knows what the fuck race he is i don't even know yeah and i still don't know 
And <laughs> I don't know. You can't, nobody can tell. Should I spoil it? No, I don't know. I don't want you to spoil I mean, it. Exactly. I don't really want to know at this point. No, yeah. I mean, the thing is I don't identify hard with either. So I think that's why race, like I always have like pay attention to it because yeah. I don't identify with anything. You know, what's funny is there's a subreddit for half white, half Asian kids called really? like Hapa something okay. and they hate themselves. Mm. It's very weird. Like they hate themselves for being Asian and white. Why? It's like, it's, oh, dude, it's dark. <laughs> they, yeah, they like hate themselves and like they hate their dads for being like weak. Like it's, it's so like the psychology is so fucked up. I, I feel like the subreddit is going to come after us for fucking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean. Is I, it really like that dark on the. I mean, it's just to me, it's like. It's sad, dude. Yeah. Like, I don't know what's happened to these kids for them to feel like that. And it's just fucked. Like, I've, I haven't gone too deep on it. Yeah. But I've seen videos about it. And I'm like, God, man, I can't. I understand, like, when you're mixed race, you get, like, a weird, you know. Because people, like, they want to put you into things. Like, yeah. box or whatever people call it. But uh, What? They want to put you in a box? Yeah, like, like people, like you know, like, they want to define you some way. Like uh, Oh, like, like a metaphorical Yeah, one. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you had a fucked up childhood, didn't you? <laughs> you know, when your parents want to put you in a box. <laughs> you know what that's like, right? No. Is there the one box for you and the box for the cat, no? <laughs> no? Shit. No. They put litter in both. They told me to shit there and just like... <laughs> yeah, no, dude. No, that, yeah, that's not parenting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm so fucked up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But I just... Yeah, whatever. This is getting depressing. Let's move on. Um, Let's move to this tweet that I wanted you to get a live reaction to. Okay. Because... This is money. Wait, wait, wait. Also, uh, you before you don't you have a podcast? Did you stop doing that? I stopped because it just felt like a dude circle jerking to himself. Yeah, you know what I mean. Is that yeah? You know, is that like a bag on? <coughs> is, that, is that a bag on this podcast? <coughs> That's why I'm having guests on now. No, no, it's not actually. I okay. did it, and it's fun like to get those ideas off your chest. Yeah, yeah. But <clears throat> I said this in my first one. There's nothing that screams, "I am 27 and uh, I think I'm cool." more than saying like i started a podcast it's yeah. like you're saying oh my 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 opinions are what you should that's what how you should spend your time god damn it yeah well i'm i still do mine well i mean it's fine I'm, <laughs> I'm, like, for yours it's fine i mean <laughs> no i mean i'm probably gonna do mine again okay, but i want to yeah. give it like a theme yeah like instead of me i want to like like anchor on something yeah, yeah i was thought of one this is fucked up i thought of one called devil's advocate uh -huh. and like i wanted to look up like horrible like fucking like cr like cold cases and try to like <laughs> not justify whatever this person has oh, done, okay. but like kind of like you know explore like well maybe <laughs> there that's that's the yeah you that's know the tagline well maybe 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 maybe, maybe, you, maybe we're not seeing the full picture yeah. here maybe he should have killed all ten of those people I mean yeah maybe they maybe, maybe they were asking maybe for it they deserved it. <laughs> But there's that is fucking that is just towing a moral yeah, fucking that, boundary that you don't want to yeah what does that say about me i i'm i want to start a podcast where i justify murder what do you think about that um what the fuck that's creepy someone's home uh i don't think so all right live reaction tweet here we go you're just gonna read this caption and sp oh <laughs> shit dude. jesus christ <laughs> time to crack another cold one with the boys <laughs> That's embarrassing. <laughs> what the fuck? Did you swipe through? Are you what frame are you on? <laughs> I feel so bad for everyone that can't see this. All right, if you're on if you're on Okay, if you're on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube right now, which you know you can do that by going to Insanely Chill YouTube channel. Um it's a tweet that I'm looking at where this cool. dude's getting a tattoo on his ass and it says, So I was getting a tattoo and my tattoo artist my tattoo artist stop and start eating my ass and bro is DL. Down low. Down low. <laughs> so it's like him. And then it's like literally he's getting his That's ass eaten. And he's getting the tattoo on a <laughs> the bed. The tattoo says blessed. B-L-E on the left cheek. <laughs> the whole ass. <laughs> <laughs> How did you even... Dude, you, you find the weirdest shit on Twitter. Yeah. I mean, it's mo mostly because I follow some dudes that like... They, man, I don't know what depths they go to. I can't take credit. Like they have given me the, the keys. Okay. Like they are these fucking internet, you know. They find, they like go out there and they like seek it out. They yeah. seek out the fucked up shit. Yeah. And they're like. From somewhere. So you see this? Yeah. <laughs> you ever heard of a guy getting his ass out during a tattoo? <laughs> that says blessed. Yeah. 
that's not real. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's real. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, like, I, shit like this makes me feel like I got to get off the internet. Yeah. Like, I should not be this deep. It makes you sad. <clears throat> Dude, that's why I fucking, that's why I stopped. Like you, uh, yeah. I went through a little bit, um, little phase where I guess like maybe in college or something, I was, I was going on 4chan a lot. Oh no. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's a sad place. I don't know why yeah. I did. And, and eventually I stopped and I was, it was amazing how much like happier I got and just like, yeah. just like things like yeah. just like meant i you know because it, it like uh, uh, this is kind of a cliche thing to say about it but it like desensitizes you oh of course yeah it's just like a yeah. whirlwind of this the most fucked up shit ever it's i think at first it starts as a fascination yeah because like you're like oh wow i didn't know that. yeah yeah exactly <laughs> people like are like bit, this it's like a little bit addicting yeah yeah Four chan if you don't know is a website it's just like an image it's like an image, image board, board but yeah. it's like so many people are using it it refreshes super fast and you can post anything and it's all anonymous yeah so you can imagine like what kind of fucked up shit happens. Yeah. And all these guys getting their weird racist opinions off. And yeah. So yeah, I, I, that's funny. I never, I had a conscious thing where I'm like, all right, I will not engage 4chan. Just cause I like, I'd been there a few times. I'm like, that's a hateful place. I'm not going there. Okay. Yeah. Let's be positive. What's well, something positive. <laughs> I feel like Jake Paul came out with a new song. You see that? I heard. Yeah. That was a <laughs> <Something po> <laughs> first of all also all my fucking content now is like rooted on jake paul like i'm making fun of him so much it's like he's the reason i have like a fucking career yeah yeah <laughs> because he comes you're out welcome. with something new and i make fun of it you're welcome <laughs> that's what jake paul's saying to every everyone who's roasting this dude is like <laughs> please make something else yeah I, I, I <laughs> dude i this will be interesting for the people watching if you're if you've seen my videos on jake paul whatever noel and i did a song rap mm. song where we like poking fun at him basically and we did like a video so i've made fun of him a lot right and i fucking we went to this party the other day it was a it was a twitter party yeah it was, they invite a whole bunch of creators whatever people drink and there's a bunch of food and i don't know it's really cool it's super sick yeah it's like the new age celebrities <laughs> i mean it was a cool party no it was a good party it was a yeah. cool party yeah um but i'm there and fucking one of the team 10 dudes comes in and oh he, yeah, that's right. And he's, he's, he's a mutual friend. We have like a close mutual friend. Um, she went to college with him <laughs> and I'm like really good friends with the mutual friends. So we both looked at each other and, and I was like, Oh yo, what up? And he was like, Oh, Hey, you're Cody, right? And I was like, yeah, you're, uh, I forget his name. Connor. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, uh, I was like, you know, Sarah. And he's like, yeah, she's told me about you. And I was like, Oh, she's told me about you too. And, uh, we're thanks. And then we start talking about like the, the video and everything. Yep. Oh no. Cause these two other kids that had been hanging out at the team 10 house, uh, they came up to me and they were like, Hey, we're big fans. We love all your stuff. And I was like, and I was like, thanks so much. Appreciate it. And then, and then I, the other guy came over and started talking to them. I was like, you guys all know each other? I'm like, yeah, we were hanging out at the team 10 house. And I was like, Oh fuck. Do they know about like my video? Uh, Have they seen it? And he was like, Oh yeah. He was like, that's what we, that's all we did for the life for the two days after the video came out was watch reaction videos. Ah, and they were all like, we all thought we, yours was pretty funny. So I think Jake has definitely seen my, video, Oh, okay. Okay. Which is good. Which is great. It's good. Yeah. Now I can, um, I want to pre-announce, I don't know. I always get these ideas and I don't want to focus on them, but I want to cut that horror trailer of like that one vlog. Yeah. 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 yeah I think you got to do that. Yeah. Because do you want to explain the idea? Yeah. So what is the, what is that damn vlog? I don't remember. What is this fucking title of it? Cause if anyone wants to go look it up anyway, it's, uh, it's one of the recent ones and he fucking, I want to cut this horror trailer for a cult leader. Okay. And like, but he's like a, like a possessive type cult leader. <sighs> oh, let's make sure this shit's still recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just want to like, you know, cause he says all these really creepy things like the, the, whatever the Spanish kids, they go to the gym without him. And like he, he goes in their room and he's like, holy shit, it's clean in here. Can you believe it? Like, which is a weird thing. I've, <laughs> I've never gone into my homeboy's room and been like, wow, clean room. Good job, buddy. Like <laughs> such a middle manager thing to do. Oh, nice desk. Hmm. Keeping it tidy. Listen, yeah. let's talk about the test today. Like, so he goes in there and he's like looking for him, which is fucking it's just weird. And then like the way he went about it was very creepy. Like, you know, he's like, are they under the bed? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like slowly, like you can, you can yeah. kind of tell he's like, there's a rage. Yeah. There, it's like you know building I mean? up. He's like, where are they? <laughs> Certainly they didn't go to the gym without me. No, they wouldn't do that. They're my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so he FaceTimes them. And the fucking sadness in their voice, they're like, hey, what's up? Like, they don't, 
you know, when you call a buddy, you're like, what's up, fucker? Yeah, like, yeah. whatever, you know, and, and uh, they're like, hey, dude, <laughs> that's just it. He's like, what's up, guys? And they're like, yo, like, they don't want to tell him. <laughs> Like fuck, fuck, fuck! If we like, where are you guys? <laughs> it's like a I think to them it's like a T Rex. If they don't move, yeah, they'll yeah. go away. <laughs> so he's like, they're like, they're like, I'm dude, crying. Yeah, they're like dude. Oh, we went to the gym. He's like, went to the gym, bro. Without me, they went to the fucking gym without me. And then like he's like freaking out. He's like, you can't leave your bro hanging. And then they're like, sorry, man, just leave me hanging like that. Dog, it cuts. He's in the gym with them. And, wait, 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 wait. Oh shit! Try it again. Try it again. Sorry, kill again. Yeah, it cuts, and he's in the gym with them. Okay, like just he's there now. <laughs> and then like he's going up to the Spanish kids, and he's like, he's like, say this, and like they, their English isn't great, so they're trying to like say these phrases, but it's such like a fucking hostage thing, like it. And then he's like, whoa, yeah, say it again. Like he's like <laughs> controlling them. And then he's like, content, yes. Yeah. Yes, he's just milking him for the <laughs> yes. sweet content. You know what I mean? Yeah, say it again. So say it. Funny. Say it for the views for YouTube. Come also, on. People are going to love you. You're going to be a big star. Say it again. <laughs> also, I have to comment on two things. One, uh, Logan Paul. Logan Paul is has successfully taken the like evangelical preacher model yeah. and applied that to youtube yeah uh, it's fucking amazing i give that guy props it's for actually that. very true i have never really thought about it like that but that's what it is it's yeah like he's he's you know his whole thing where he's like the maverick and all that stuff he like he has created this community and that shit is fucking powerful yeah and like he has like that joel orstein like conviction when he talks to the camera yeah. he's like what's up mavericks and they're like yeah fuck yeah he's talking to me like, like yeah <laughs> like, i'm you a can maverick do, yeah so fucking even though I don't like his fucking content, I give him like, I could never do that. So like all that money he makes, I don't hate on it that much. Cause I'm like, you've gone all the way. Like he is completely sold into his identity, whatever the fuck you would call it. Yeah. I mean, still fuck him, but like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean like, I don't like, I wonder him. if he believes all the shit he's like, like recently, I, I mean like, I, I, I think I'm kind of a cynical person sure. a little bit. Right. I mean, I feel like yeah. we're, I mean, we're comedians. We're yeah, of course. cynical by nature. Um, no, I but, and, and I think like after we wrote the song and everything, and I had like a, I had like an episode of the podcast where I was like motivational. Yeah. Cause I was like, you know, you can, it just proves that like, if you sit down and like, just make yourself do it for, you know, you, you'd be amazed at what you can do. Yeah. Right? True. 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 But at a certain point it's like, you know, he's so motivational and it's yeah. like, you're a maverick. You can yeah. do anything. It's like, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. A lot of these people, they can't, they can't. But they that, can't. I don't know. You know, they're not going to be you. They're not <laughs> six and a half feet tall, jacked with the fucking gills. You know, like just able to. Oh, shit. I don't know. With like the lack of social awareness you have to like yeah. scream into your camera everywhere in public. Oh, these are kids. Most people just have normal lives. Yeah. 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 And that's don't. fine. Yeah. But so there's that. And I so watching that, uh, what I was coming back to is one. It's such like a. So it's like a it's like a preacher. And then like a weird wannabe bishop. Like that's the way I look at them. Like yeah. They're these weird, like fanatic, like uh, demigod figures. And like Jake Paul so badly is like trying to replicate what his brother has done, but he doesn't have, like, it's so blatant. It's for the cash. Yeah. And Logan is able to transcend that and like believe in like this message he's spreading and all that. But that's neither here nor there. The thing I want to point out is their vlogs when they do, because I watched one of his and one of Jake's, I love the hypercut of their fitness program. Oh yeah. Like, it's, it's, it's so abrupt. Like yeah. they're just like, woo, now it's time to work out, boys. And it just cuts. And it's like this fucking It's like a music video. Yeah, them lifting weights. I'm like, this has got to be so obnoxious because raw footage, I mean, obviously I'm coming from a film background. Raw footage is so cringe. Yeah. Oh my God. I can't imagine. I think about that so much what their editors have to deal with. Because you know the editors are funny. Yeah, they make the vlogs funny, like yeah. a lot of the effects and stuff like that. Yeah. And like they'll zoom in. And you know what I mean? It's like it's like funny zoom ins and funny yeah. cut cuts and stuff like yeah. that. You can tell that they have a sense of humor. Yeah. Which means that they must fucking hate their they jobs. must. Yeah. Because taking that footage of Logan Paul screaming <laughs> words or like just working out like, oh my God. like, come on, buddy. Like smack it. You know what I mean? Jesus. Without the music and everything. Oh, that's so cringe. And that awkward silence that follows after they say every stupid thing. Yeah. That dude's like. 
I'm, I feel like the first six months of that is cringing to yourself, like yeah. to death. You're like, God, fuck. And then you get over it. It's probably like editing like hardcore porn. Like yeah. it's just some like. Eventually you just totally desensitize. Yeah, you're like, oh, I don't even fucking, you're dead inside and you just do it. <laughs> Absolutely lose hope in <laughs> comedy just yeah. as a genre and like YouTube and oh my entertainment. God. You know, I actually, I, if any of any of the listeners or any, if any of you know, I would love to interview Logan Paul's editor. That would be fucking yeah. Yeah. awesome. I, I, I would, and if you do that, I have to be there. Like, oh yeah, 100%. Because I have to pick him from an editor standpoint. Yeah. I need to know. Yep. What that is like, does does Logan just send him like a fucking Dropbox and is like, edit this shit. Here's today. You fucking bastard. Like, yeah. does he even respect him? Yeah. He's just like, enjoy. 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 <laughs> no, Logan. Here's today's, here's today's video. I hung out with The Rock and I screamed <laughs> at the camera for five hours straight. Enjoy. <laughs> no, that's Jake. Logan is like, hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> I yeah. Know. He's hey, like, you ready to edit, edit today's video? Hey, you're man. a maverick. You're, you're a maverick. You're my top maverick. <laughs> you're my top 10 maverick. What if, dude, what if he's like fucking brainwashed? You're my top 10 maverick. He's like, we could bring him in for an interview and he's like, yeah, I love it. I'm a top 10 maverick for Logan. I mean, <laughs> not a lot of people. Oh my God. Logan should just pivot into like a religion. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. It's kind of like a, it's kind of culty already. Yeah. Just make it like a Scientology thing. Yeah. Different levels of maverick. Yeah. Dude. It's actually a really good idea. And I, I, it's kind of <laughs> fucked up that like it could, I see it actually maybe going there. Oh, yeah. Like what? This was part of my Jake Paul videos. Like, why do you got to call? Why do you got to, why do you have to go this far with your fan base? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's one thing I totally think like you should absolutely appreciate. Oh, fucking battery's dying. It's one thing uh, you should absolutely appreciate your fan base, right? Should we leave it's, it? What are we going to do? I mean, let's wrap it up because it's like an hour. Yeah. It's been an hour anyways. Um, You should appreciate your fan base. Absolutely. They make it you know, make it so that you can do what you love to do. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the fact that people, I, us that we have fans is fucking incredible. I don't understand how someone can actually watch my face and like, like yeah. what they see. Right. But at a certain point it's like, there's, there, there is, there should be yeah. a, a, like a, you know, a divide between yeah. you and your fan base, right? You're an artist and they like your art and you're right. And you're, and you're they still go, a person. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you're still a person. You have a life to live, right? <laughs> These guys are like, you you guys are my family. You know, you just were like family. You believe in me and I know I can le- trust in you to do anything. And it's like, so why do you creepy. have to make it like that? Yeah. It's so creepy. This isn't a fucking cult. Yeah. <laughs> you well, put, it you entertain them and that's what you do, but they make it a different thing. Wait, before the battery dies. Yeah. I'm going to suggest something, dude. Yeah. Cause, uh, I personally feel like this went well. Yeah. yeah I feel sure. like we should have a scheduled one. Like yeah. a separate. Because candidly, I don't, I, f- I feel like my, I go too far off track. Okay. But I'm just saying. Yeah. No, I, I, like, I think if you, if you guys like it, if you guys agree and you've watched it yeah, this far. Yeah, that was going to be like, my, my call out to the fans. Hey, if you like this, tell Cody to make one more thing on his schedule because it's not like he doesn't have a job uh, and free time. Uh, I don't. Uh, no, I, I, I actually, neither of us do. Neither of us do. It's fucking like, that's why on sketches and shit, I'm starting like asking for support. It's fucking crazy how much like these fucking YouTubers that have th- this staff. Yeah. Like, I don't think people understand. Like, that's why Logan Paul can do this shit. Yeah. I feel like Casey Neistat's the only one who's like really trying to do it himself. Yeah. But every, he, I mean, he, and he described his process in one of his videos and he was like, yeah, I wake up at 4 a.m. I edit, I edit the video from yesterday posted by the morning and then I film everything. And he's like, I don't drink, I don't party because like, I can't. Yeah, he can't. With the schedule, which is fucking insane. The crazy, the work ethic yeah. of that dude. So when I, before when I said LA is 40% traffic and 60% just like surfing, drinking, hanging out with your friends. <laughs> he's lying. It's really just 5% yeah. surfing and hanging out with your Completely friends. Completely 5% that. But I mean like, it's also cause we like, we like what we do right now and we're, I mean, yeah. it's probably because you have a fucking full-time job, but yeah. it's also like, you know, I like making videos. I like making these podcasts. Yep. So I wouldn't yep. mind a second one too. Yeah. I mean, or I'll just have you on fucking every weekend. Yeah, I could do that too. That's that's pretty easy. Um, either way, man. Yeah. What all right, guys. Final thoughts. Uh follow Noel. Yeah, check on, me out. Y'all. Yeah. You can also you can book him on Book Cameo, Devin's yeah. website. Yep. Bookcameo.com slash uh Noel Miller. Noel Miller, if you want a video shout out from him or me. Or Cody. No, or hey, do that for me. Um, too. I'm cheaper, so book me. And um that's but, just you know you want. I, I, I'm fuck. funnier. Fuck shit. I, I don't have any jokes. For <laughs> uh, see, book case in point, baby. Case in point. Case in point. Ah, see, I'm see. Stacked full of jokes, baby. That ain't, that's not a camel. That's my wife. Uh, if you want to hear me say yeah, that yeah. directly to your inbox, then book me on book cameo. Wait, let's talk real quick about book cameo before the shit fucking fries. Okay. Uh, find me on book cameo. I'll give you a light roast. Mm-hmm. Um, 
people seem to enjoy that. They want to get roasted. Yeah. So do that. My favorite one ever that I've done so far was the guy. He was like, he sent me he had the instructions Just said, hey, my girlfriend is a really big fan. Or no, it was from the girl, right? The girl said, my boyfriend is pissed off that I'm such a big fan. Can you tell him that you're not going to fuck me? What? <laughs> yeah. And so I went on and I was like, hey, what's up, Jason? I uh, heard your girlfriend's a big fan. Uh, she's talking about me all the time or whatever. I just want to say that I'm not going to fuck her. Maybe. And I was like, no, no, I'm kidding. I won't. Am I? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> I, did, I got wow. paid $20 to fucking say that. <laughs> okay. My last, my roast and then whatever. Um, Cause I was, we were talking about this earlier. So this girl was like, oh, I'm a nurse. I'm 20. Everyone likes me. I, I feel like I, people just too many people like me, take me down a peg. Okay. So I'm like, oh, I'm like, man, like, uh, I said something like, uh, I want to thank you for choosing a career in nursing. Uh, thank you for spending all your time in medicine cabinets and plain white walls. Cause God knows you're so fucking ugly. We don't want to oh see God. you in the regular daylight. So thank you for doing us that favor. Uh, God bless. We don't want, like I, the, the punchline was like your ugly fucking face. Jesus Christ. And I think she felt that one. <laughs> she paid for that. Yeah. She paid for that. And she asked for it. So yeah. if you want to be roasted by Noel, <laughs> then you can go book cameo. $7. Noel book Miller. cameo. All right, cool. Uh, uh, yeah. Follow Noel on uh, YouTube or on Twitter. We, we, we make videos on YouTube on yeah. his channel. Yeah. Usually like really high production value sketches Ooh, because he knows how to do that shit. Thanks bro. Um, follow him on Twitter, Instagram, yeah. whatever. Follow me. It's at Cody co. And you know, you know the fucking drill. If you like the podcast, why don't you give it five stars on iTunes? Why don't you just do that right now? Dang. So I'm not, I'm not, it was an a, I'm asking, but, but yeah. you know, like a tough love sort of thing. Yeah. When you just rate it, yeah, fucking do it, do it. You know, yeah. you know, you you know that's going to be beneficial for both of us. Yeah, just give us your honest feedback. And uh, I'm gonna one more time. Uh, I'm gonna plug my Patreon. Yeah, Patreon.com/slash Cody Co. Because if you like the podcast and you want it to keep happening, yeah. then give me give me your money out of yeah. your wallet. Please, you know, what? because I don't make anything on YouTube. No, and I'm gonna jump in here and say. Uh, that is the hardest thing, uh, guys, is fucking leaving engineering to do fucking oh, entertainment. Because yeah. oh, yeah. entertainment is not forgiving. It will fucking crush you. I made so much money before. Yeah. <laughs> when I was an engineer. Yep. So much. Yeah. My whole lifestyle is built around that. So um, <laughs> exactly. I'm having a real hard time transitioning. No, so, make any, you know how much we, we made, guys? On the Keep Your Dick Fat video, uh, the original one that I shot, it now has like close to half a million views. 60 bucks. Bang. Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars on that for that work. I made an entire song. <laughs> we made an entire song. I made an entire video about this in twenty four hours, and I made sixty bucks. Shoot myself in the fucking face. And I hate when people complain about this. I hate when YouTubers complain about how much money they have. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm in the shoes, I'm like, I can't help but yeah. fucking ask for shit because yeah. it's like you get, you get, it's just yeah, it's get tough, man. I'm, I'm worried. My dad hits me up. He's like, literally, like, hey, hey, like, how are you making money? Wow. And I'm like, I'm. I tell him all the ways because now you know, like. You got cameo and you got, yeah. you know, yeah. I've got a yeah. second YouTube channel now. Like things like I'm making it happen. It's just Avenues. like, he, you know, he's like, Hey, is the YouTube thing still not like making money? And I'm like, oh. mm. so, uh, Anyways, so support, it, really support your favorites guys. That's my message yeah. on that. Support your favorites. Uh, guys, let me know who you want to see for the next weekend edition. Let me know mm -hmm. if Noel and I should could be continue doing podcasts together. And we also, uh, we do stand up together. So we'll have a show in the yeah. next month or two together. Yeah. To we're going to try and throw a show. Yes, we are. We're, and we're trying to get very funny people on that. So be on the lookout yep. for that. All right, guys, thanks for listening. And I'll see you on Wednesday with the regular edition. Peace. Peace.